Hi everyone, it's Doreen with Ooh La La Vintage Treasures. I am here today with a craft with me on making these hearts. Here is one that I created. So there's that one. And see this one here? It came out with all the sequins, all these little baby bits here. It's still drying. And of course I'm going to go over it with some more layers. I'm going to let it dry for a little bit and I'll come back and do that one later. That one there really had the scattered beads on it, the seed beads. And then there's this one here. I love how they came out. See, they're really easy to do and they're a lot of fun. And these are vintage sequins, but you don't have to use vintage. You can go to Michael's, Joann's, you can shop online. You can find sequins anywhere. This is just some sequins that I have I had from antique shops. I bought them a while ago, plus I took some dresses apart. And I'm sure this has been around a long time, but you know how we find things and we go back to things later after somebody brings it to your attention. And the last video I saw was Anna. She's Serenity Creations here on YouTube. She created these beautiful circles and I was working on my latest coffee and pearls kit and of course a lot of times I use hearts as one of my inspiration pieces and so I went ahead and um, I made up these and showed them on my crystals and pearls update video if you want to go back and check that out. <clears throat> I've got a little bit of a scratchy throat today. I don't know what's going on with my allergies. So I apologize for that. And it's really quiet over here. My fiance is taking a nap, so I thought I would come in and do a video real quick. Of course, you can always hear the cars go by. It sounds like I'm on an interstate. It drives me crazy. The cars just never stop over here. Okay. Hopefully this is staying in frame and you guys are seeing this clear. Let me make sure. Okay. And then, so I'm just using this little plastic spoon. You don't have to do that. You can use your fingers. But I find that I can um, go back like this and add little details with the little edge here with the spoon. And so you can kind of tap it at the edge. And I like to tuck the sequins in on the edge as well. Kind of gives it a different look here. So what I like to do too is I'll pick through the sequins because <laughs> they're just so fun to touch anyway. And I'll pick a layer that I want to use to add where I put the glue. So let's put a little heart there. It's a little matte heart. That came off of a picture frame that has fallen apart. So I added it to my sequin mix. So there's all kinds of things you can add to the sequin mix. So let's see. I want to do this one here. I love this little brown pink color. It's like vintage pink. See how that's coming together? Then you just keep adding a little dab of glue until you get it exactly um, the way you want it. This might be too big of a pearl. Let's see. Like I said, you have to be quick if you want it to stick. So I'll probably come back and make another layer of that. We'll just let this one dry for now. We'll play with this one in a little bit. There's a lot more we got to add to that, too. All right, so I'd take our glue. So I hope you all are having a good day. I am crafting up a storm over here, finishing up the coffee and pearls kit so I can get it out to my ladies. Now see that picked up a lot more of those pink ones again. So I'll probably let this one dry and come back to it. So we'll just put that one aside for now. Liquid glue for it to stick. Um, I think that um, Anna used glossy accents, but I can't tell you where my glossy accents is. So this is what I did. And it worked, so. That's what I got. 
So whatever liquid glue you got, that's what you should use. And these are great for little additions to your journals, little journal pages. You can add these to pockets. So many different things you can add these to. You can even make charms out of them by, if you don't cover up the hole, you could make either the hole right there or right there. I thought about it after I made them, but I just figured, well, that's okay. This is the last thing I have to finish before packaging up everything. And um, I've had a couple ladies ask me where I come up with my ideas for my kits. So I kind of plan these like six months in advance and I keep a little note file on my phone. And every time I think of something, I type it in. So if I, um, if I find something that inspires me or somebody's idea inspires me, I definitely share that. And then I also use digitals as a big inspiration or paper, either one, paper or digitals. It's because I will go back and edit each one to make sure it has rhinestones and pearls and lots of bits. So they will be beautiful. And then I'll come back after I finish all of these and I'll show you the end result once I add all the little bits to it. These um, pink sequins really want to take hold of these, don't they? I probably need to add some more of my sequins to this. I think I'm going to do that. Let me just put this aside and add some more. So I have a mixture in here of, I don't know how many is in here, to be honest. Um, this does have some big ones in here too, so I kind of don't use the biggest one because it's way too big for these little hearts. And I just have it in this cute little container that I got at Ross a while ago. I got three of them with the little, with the little handle, aren't they cute? I'm going to alter and put a little charm hanging down on this eventually. I want to make some charms, some charm dangles. So let's just mix this up. And of course these are too big so I won't be using those. So I'll pull those aside and we'll just try to use some of the ones we got here. The other thing you could do is just dip them in. Um, I think that's how she did it. She dipped them in. So you could do them all different ways. There's no really um, way to do this. No special way, I mean. As long as you have glue and sequins and something to, to stick it to, you're good to go. So you could do this too. But I find that I'm more controlled when I just dump it. And just push out the ones you don't want. See? That one's too big, too. I have tweezers, but I find that these long nose pliers work better for me because I have um, kind of bigger hands than most, so I need more something bigger <laughs> than a tweezer. That's pretty cool. I like how that one came out. That can go away. Yeah, see how that is? Really cool. I think I wanna add, um, so this is what I go back and do, make sure I'm in frame. I usually go back and I find one that I wanna tuck in so see how that one has a circle? I like to go and find something different. So like, for instance, this one here, you could take it and tuck it in to the bottom there just to give it some color. And that one wants to stick. And then see, everything's kind of starting to set already. That just gives it some more so fun you guys this is definitely um, very therapeutic 
especially here sitting with sequins and candlelight. <laughs> I love my candles, my apple pie candles. It's almost gone. I'm gonna have to light a new one. So it doesn't take long at all to make these. Now see again, this one picked up all those things. So you're gonna come back and put some over the top and then you're gonna add other stuff to it. Cause you don't want all the same stuff on it showing. So I'll do this. So that's where I go back and I add the bigger pieces like the, the white sequin right here. It fills in the space too, a little bit. Let's see, that goes right there. Let's go right here and put something. Hmm, I like this one again. Where did I put it? Oh, right there, okay. And I do like to repeat things in threes also, except for these types of big ones, I won't repeat those because to me, those take up a lot of space anyway, so you don't have to use those a lot. So that's that one. I'm going to try to get a little bit more here. On my layers, that's what I really want to do is get my base layer. And then I'll go back in and I'll add gold and I'll add these brown ones in different um, colors so that they kind of coordinate or blend together, I guess you would say. Let's see. These clear ones are good to layer too. So like if you put a clear one over the top, see it's got kind of a little sheen to it. And then you can add a different color over that one. <laughs> Did it again. Got the glue on there. So you can do a little bit of glue there. And I will come back and I'll show you guys when I get to a point where I'm going to add the rhinestones and things like that. Just going to finish up all these and then I will be back to share with you the end while we go ahead and we're going to add the little rhinestone bits and little other pieces to it okay so i'll be right back see you in a few bye hi everyone it's doreen i'm back with my next video to share with you i was working on these beautiful sequin hearts and i told you i would come back and share with you the results I started gluing all the rhinestones to the hearts and I realized that I didn't show you guys that part. It's really simple though. So I'm just gonna, I have three more left to do and then I will share with you all the little sequin hearts that I made and you can get some ideas on if it's something you would like to make. So I'm just gonna use my, um, my little long nose pliers and I'm just gonna add a little bit of glue I hope everybody's doing well. I've been kind of crafting a little bit today. And I like to go in like the center here where it has a little dip kind of right there. It'll hold on to the sequins a little bit too. And of course it's gonna be, so of course it's gonna take time to dry. Now I'm doing three on one side and two on another. And so I just pick a spot where I think it looks good. There really is no, um, no exact place to put down where it kind of bends in a little bit there. So you see it gives it some dimension there. That one's got to dry. These rhinestones I'm using are two millimeter. So 
so they're really tiny and it had the trim on there it looks it's like this kind of trim and I just broke pieces off as I needed it Isn't that pretty it's got a lot of sparkle in it so this is my last one. Oh, that's a lot of glue hold on a second <laughs> This is my last one, and then I will be finished. Let's see here. I got one more piece to do. This probably doesn't make any sense to put it in my fingers and then glue it, but I'm not having to touch it so much. Let me get rid of this glob of glue. I'm just using the um, fabric tack. Let's see, let's put this one down in here.
Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you soon. Bye everyone.